So let's see what performance differences we actually get. Uh, for this experiment, I'm just using a perfectly normal 12102 database, happens to be running on Windows. I mentioned there's only one parameter still relevant to native compilation. It's this parameter here, PLC equal code type. Note that for backward compatibility reasons, it defaults to interpret it. Now, for my test, I'll begin by creating a very simple procedure. And what this procedure will do, create a replace procedure P1. I'm going to, for i in 1 to 500 million, 500 million iterations, n equals n plus 1. Just a bit of arithmetic and some looping. So, execute it with the default interpreted execution. You can control this, by the way, with individual compilations like this. I'm compiling some specifically stating interpreted. So how long does it actually take to do those 500 iterations of the loop? One, two, three, four, five. About five and a half seconds. Now I'll recompile it, but this time I'll override the default and specify native. And run it again. One, two, one and a half seconds. So the native compilation, I've gone from 5.6 seconds down to 1.6. That's about a 300% performance improvement. Not bad at all. Returning to best practices, there's no question that best practice is to enable native compilation for the entire database. Oracle does actually mention this in the current release of the docs. That means that we natively compile all user code and all the Oracle supplied packages. The routine is fairly straightforward. It does involve a small amount of downtime, but no real problem. It cannot possibly cause any issues and can do you nothing. 